Hey guys, Unbox It 101 here. Today I have a um, video tutorial with Adobe After Effects. I'm going to show you how I made my logo. Actually, I made two logos, one for each of my accounts. Um, this is my Unbox It 101 account logo. Okay, as soon as it decides to come up. Here it is. Uh, pretty basic, and I think it looks quite nice. And if you're watching Mr. Program Reviewer, Here is that logo. Okay, so I'm going to show you the basic technique of making this logo. You're going to need Video Copilot's Evolution. And if you want to get creative, you may need some other Video Copilot stuff. So um, this may be two videos, two parts, I'm not quite sure. It depends on how quickly I can get it done. So we're going to start out going opening Adobe After Effects. I already have it open. Um, and then we're going to go to Evolution. And we're going to go into our... Here, I'll just... Okay. Evolution. We're going to go into our Textures. Grayscale. And for the Unbox It 101 logo, I chose number 14. So just going ahead and bring that over. Drag it to the timeline, and you'll see what it looks like here. Um, you may not want it that big. I don't, so I'm going to scale that down. Okay. So, um, now that we have that, we're going to do a little effect on it. We're going to make it, um, the cr we're going to change the contrast on it. So it's mainly black and white, so click on it, go to effect color correction and brightness and contrast. Now just mess with these until you get a black and white picture. That's not the way we want to go. Okay. Uh a little more white. Less Wow. Okay, I've never had trouble with this before. There we go. So that's what we want, black and white. Um leave it at that. Now you're going to make a new solid. Make that a black comp size solid. Um, now this is where we're going to make the color that we want the back texture to be. So we're going to go to effect, generate uh, ramp. And I'm just going to pick like a reddish kind of, say I want to do it like a dark red orange type thing. I don't know. Whatever your color preference is is what you're going to do. So say that's what we want. We're going to take this and we're going to lay it under that texture. For the textures mode, we're going to click overlay. And that'll give us that effect of the color right there. So that's pretty nice. Um, you can mess with the brightness and contrast to make it more or less a certain color. So that's pretty cool. Um, say we want it like that. I don't know what you want it. That's a little... Okay, I want to use this part kind of, so... There we go. Now, um, for the title plate, I just made a black solid. Wow, that was really big. Okay. We're going to make this much smaller. Oops. Okay. So here we go, we just make these big as small or whatever as we want. I'm going to take the rotation tool and rotate this a little bit. That's kind of how I did it before. Um, take the opacity of it. We can just click on it in the timeline, click T, brings up the opacity, turn it down a lot. And another thing we did, I did just to give it another little effect, went on ahead and duplicated it and I kind of overlaid one of them. So to duplicate it's going to be control D and we take one of these and we lay it you know kind of below or over and we're going to write our text right there. I'm not going to get there yet but now for the arrow we're going to go back to evolution um, going to go to our 
arrows, obviously. And I used arrow number one for the first one. So, here we are. Just drag it over whenever it decides to load. Wow, okay, I have no idea what just happened. Okay, so take our arrow, drag it over. Obviously, it's not. This is an animated arrow, so it's gonna kind of come in like that. Um, that's way too big. So scale it down. Press S. Scale down. Um, Video Copilot does these. In case you wonder why they do all these arrows and stuff, white and black, it's because it gives you the capability to make it whatever color you want. So, I just kind of stuck the arrow like this in here. I don't know. And, um, if you notice, even if we change the color of that, um, and I'm going to go ahead and do that because that does not fit in at all. So do another ramp. Effect, generate, ramp. And I'm going to change the color to, like, more of a red type thing this time. I don't know. So... There we go. And the reason they make them white is because we can change, you know, the color to whatever we want just like this. And if you notice that does not fit, it has no texture to it. So say you want to use the same texture right here. Uh hold on, let me turn all these off. Okay. Say that's the texture you want to use. I'm just gonna duplicate that texture, so control D again. Take it. Take one of them, lay it over the arrow. Alrighty then, and we're just gonna click. Oh yeah, it's already overlaid. All right, so am I moving the right one here? That looks pretty cool. It's not what I did last time, but that looks pretty cool. Oh, you know what I'm forgetting to do? Okay, you gotta click Luma Matte on this one, so that way it only goes over the arrow. You see what I'm doing here? So it gives it that cool texture without messing up the whole picture. Alright, so there we go. We have that. I don't really like the placement of that other texture, though. It kind of doesn't really fit. Okay, say so that's where we want it. I don't care. Shoot. And then you, obviously, for the text, that's pretty self-explanatory. You just get the text tool. Add some text, whatever. Okay. Change the color around, change the font around over here, yeah. Okay, so... I don't have time to show you a detailed thing about the text, but, um... So now I'm going to show you, in case you didn't notice, there was a little kind of back effect. I'm going to go back to Evolution, and we're going to uh, use the arrow. I tried to make this an Evolution-only project, that way if you only have Evolution, then... It would be pretty easy for you. I use flourish number one. Alright, we're gonna take that flourish. We're just gonna stick it over, or actually, okay, obviously we're gonna need to scale that down quite a bit. Okay, I do not wanna sleep with Okay, so flourish, scale down, and I accidentally moved an arrow in there. Okay. So there's a flourish. I'm gonna scale it down even more. Get my cursor tool. And we're gonna take the flourish and we're gonna put it below the title plates, below everything except for the um texture, obviously. So now just for some background, you know, um texture and stuff, take the flourish, scale it down. Oh, well, I'm sorry, not scale, what am I thinking? Alright, take the opacity, turn it down. So, that's my friend wanting to talk. But, here it is. That's the basic effect of this. I mean, you can get fancy and do whatever you want, but just in case you're wondering how I made that logo, that's how I did it. So, you guys have a good day. And this was an Unbox It 101 review or a Mr. Program Reviewer review. So, um, have a good day.